day 15 leaving alec kennedy shelter you see the other shelter um <clears throat> slept well feel restored after yesterday yesterday was tough uh it was a, it was a lot of ups and downs and a lot of <clears throat> rocks like a rock scrambling type situation um today i'm only going to go about four miles into boiling springs and i'm going to sleep in lisa's tool shed tonight so uh i slept in a little bit today and took my time getting ready since it's going to be a short day so it should be pretty nice Big old burger and some coleslaw. So I'm at Lisa's hostel. Um, it is. Let's see. Let's turn this around. It's like a tool shed with four bunks in it, plus a cot, and then there's also like a mobile home out in the backyard that you can. Uh, stay in if you want um that's forty dollars the tool shed is 20. and she picks you up right at the atc in boiling springs and you get a hot shower and i think there's uh you know you can plug in your electronics and she has a refrigerator with hot dogs and bread and cheese so you can make grilled cheese sandwiches and um, then she drops you back off at the ATC um, which is right on the trail in the morning and uh, all that for $20 it's pretty sweet Day 16, just got dropped off by Lisa's husband at the ATC, and now I'm gonna walk out of Boiling Springs. Um, it's supposed to be hot, 
and sunny today and I'm gonna be walking through roads and pastures and industrial areas industrial areas so pretty exposed had I not stayed at a hostel I probably would have got an earlier start but it was really nice to stay there I really enjoyed it highly recommend well worth $20 So um, this stretch through Bowling Springs, it's like 18 miles between shelters. It's a 14 mile water carry, which because the terrain is flatter, you know, maybe I can do that. I don't know. but. I'm not going to have to do that because the car show is over and I can jump off the trail in Carlisle and spend a night at the Quality Inn. So it's only an eight mile water carry for me. So that's a relief. Let's see how the day goes. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to be off the road and just in the trees train traffic noises but I can still hear the birds oh no it's a beautiful morning super sunny but still cool so far I don't know, I'm still just so happy to be out here. So grateful. Can't believe I get to do this. <laughs> I miss everyone at home. I miss my family, but I know they're proud of me. And I've walked a hundred miles on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> so, what are your trail names? I'm Mafia. And I'm Whittles. And why are we so excited? We hit a hundred miles today. Yes! Oh, so cool. Yeah. Oh, looky here. New experience. Up and over. And again on the other side. New flowers. Thank you so much to whoever yeah. left this. Pretty water. I do not believe it's considered safe to drink, which makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Since you know we're around all this farmland and stuff. There's probably some toxic runoff in it so beautiful
So this is an interesting bit. There's one of these to go over, but the fence is open. So I suppose a purist would follow this white blaze and walk up and down. But I am walking through. here at the Quality Inn in Carlisle. So let me tell you something. It's a lesson I've been learning uh, the past two weeks and uh, I hope today I finally learned it for good. Um, there are people out here who are afraid of things, like different things. I have been warned, I was warned of um, that I should hightail it because there was this thunderstorm coming and the thunderstorm never happened. I've been warned off the trail for rain and the rain turned into nothing. Um, the cold, the snow, which, you know, I hiked in the snow and I was okay and I slept in the cold and I was okay. I've been told not to stay at certain shelters because people heard this or people heard that. Um, I won't even get into right now what uh, the cashier at the Dollar General uh, tried to scare me with. And then there's today. So in my own mind, I had concerns because of the, you know, supposed 14 mile water carry. But on top of that, I was told that today would be nothing but exposed, um, walking like lots of road walking um open fields and uh, i was told that i was going through like a horrible ugly industrial area and i just had this picture in my mind that today was going to be something to endure and I'll tell you the truth, this was the nicest day of hiking I've had yet. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, there, you know, there was lots of shade. And, uh, yeah, it was flat. It was gentle terrain. I made great time. It's only like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And now I have a hotel stay. And there's a diner just, just right up the road. And I'm done with other people's fears. Um, you know, like anyone else, I'm sure I have plenty of my own, but I'm not, I'm not taking on anybody else's burden anymore. So today was great and tonight is gonna be wonderful. And I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know I'll be okay.